Hello, we're playing Mankind Divided, and we are just trying to make our way through to this restricted area. We can kind of ignore these guys and make our way over here. We got this. No chance for him to escape. Things are not looking good. Let's see, can we find a nice route round? I don't know, turn around and we'll head this way. Fuck. Ah! Somebody seen me. Say something. Right, we seem stuck right on this corner for some reason. Come on, guys. Make it a little bit difficult for me, at least. Come on, pick it out. Ouch, taking a bit of health damage here. Oh, game over, man. This is ridiculously easy to die compared to the other place. Right, let's have another go then. They're nowhere near as tough as they used to be in the old game. Oh, I've got to take me all the way back here. You've got to be kidding. Okay, well at least we know where we're going. Oh no, I'm gonna go this way, not that way. Ooh. Doc Larry! Doc <laughs> Show me okay. like these papers. Otherwise you cannot go through. Them. I know the drill. The drill has changed. Too many forgeries. All Ogs must now carry a supplementary permit authentication card. Do you have this card? I'll clear it up with the people I work for. They'll take care of it. And who do you work for exactly? Does it matter? You worried I might outrank you? <laughs> of course not. These rules, they apply to everyone. Besides, I am regional director of, uh, of uh, document checking. I report to God directly. It is God who tells me that if you continue this way, without proper permit, I am morally obliged to shoot you. Is that right? My friend, I know what you're thinking. It's terrible the way they make laws against your kind. But listen, maybe I can do something to help. We could come to an understanding. What kind of understanding? Hmm. Lucky okay. for you, I know a guy. An expert in... Permitification. A document agent. He offers permits, authentication cards. Peace of mind. With his help, you go wherever you want, whenever you want. No more hassles. What do you say? This document agent you mentioned, you see the one in charge? He gets you to stop Ogs and offer them this opportunity to do business with him. Go see for yourself. 
My friend has documents to pass checkpoints, to keep police off your back, to get into parts of Prague you never knew existed. Tell him Drahomir sent you. You'll see. I give you address, yes? All right, give me the address. I think I'd like to see who's behind all this. Shekashka. There is a courtyard behind the apartment building. Very easy to find. My friend will be there. He will get you latest permit card. Just pay him and don't ask questions. You heard it? <laughs> now I'm going to die. That was a nice little story glitch thing for me. Thanks. Let's try that again then, shall we? Uh, right, same deal again. Let's throw some crap away. Right, let's put the thing in the thing. Push the button on the thing. Oh, yeah, it doesn't like angles, does it? Okay, we are in. Take all those, thank you. Okay, so we're going to have a bit of a fight. What's the fucking secretary say? Let's be calm, be home soon. Permits come cheap for reasons of prices. What? What? Permits come cheap for reasons. So the price is what it is. Government is looking well on me, and who like you will get a permit. Okay, fine. How can it smell so bad here? Right. Shall we start a bit of a fight? Okay, so that takes care of two of them. That should take care of another one. Right, I know you're down there, but I can't see you. There you are. Come on guys, where are you? Show yourselves. Right, I think that is everybody. I want that tactical shotgun. What can I do to get rid of the tactical shotgun? Let's let's get rid of the 10 mm beta pistol. Let's get rid of the pale ale. And let's get rid of the absinthe as well. Still can't pick that up. 
Probably need to just move things around a little bit, make some room. I'm hoping that's a big enough space. Nope. Uh, okay, we need a little bit more, so let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. And bring that down here. That is beer, we can get rid of that. That's neuropazine. I do not want to get rid of neuropazine. Uh, what we could do though is we could take that and move it over here. Put that and over there, put that over there, and move that to one side. Take this down here. Take that. Oop. Move that over there, put that over there, put that up there, put this over here, put this here. That gives us a little bit more room. Is that enough space? Yes, it is. Cool. Uh, let's put you in slot four. Uh, did I pick up? I did, right. Let's move on. All seems still pretty noisy in here. I like how the noises stop now that I've got closer. And the game's kind of worked out that everybody's dead because I've killed them all. I'm not seeing anybody alive in here. Where are you all? Loot these guys. What's that? Frag grenade. Oh, well, never mind. Hello, my friend. Are you in here? Jensen! Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man! You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's red. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to hack that computer because my skills will be quite low still. Hmm, augments. Let's go down into the dungeon. I'd like to. Hello. Jensen, my there he favorite is. techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not gonna be a problem anymore. What did they want? You behind on your protection money? I... I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know, I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sadie fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then, well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Ah, feel my way around. What exactly are you going to do to me? I'm not sure yet. First, I got to get in there to see what's wrong. But don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to you I wouldn't do to myself. I promise. 
Besides, you've been here a few times. You know I'm professional. You've never had to put me under before. I never saw you the day after an explosion before either. That was a big shock to your system, man. Kaboom! Now, you want me to fix you or not? Hang on a sec, you're gonna put me under for how long? What if the Diwali send reinforcements? Oh, you're just stalling. Those illiterates aren't going to get in here. Don't be scared of the chair, okay? The chair is gentle. I promise. This thing with the Diwali is nothing. Otar's pissing where he shouldn't. I count on you to fix me, Kohler. To some extent, your problems are my problems. That's sweet, Jensen. Otar Botkoveli is the Diwali number two guy. The men outside, they were his men. But the big boss man is Radic Nikoladze. He is the number one guy. And I know Radic, so... So don't worry about it. Now, are we gonna do this procedure, or what? <sighs> All right. Let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. You... you won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, right? What, what did you... I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking ogs back there. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have... Uh, here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease up. Getting all freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Carl? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... these, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well, I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. Click the icon to select one of the experimental augmentations. Directed energy propulsion system. Remote hacking augmentation. Tesla. Uh, okay. Nano blade. It's okay, Jensen. One isn't going to kill you. You've said that before. <laughs> Focus enhancement. Icarus dash. Okay. Titan shield. Oh, nice. Right, let's go with the run back hacking. We'll try something simple for now. See that? Major spike in your power consumption. Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you wanna use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. Press change deactivating status to see which augmentations can be disabled. 
Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Hmm, okay. Okay, so I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. I thought you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man! I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. I help you make the most of the new augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraph installed all my augs. If there's something inside me I don't know about, he's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new augs, they... they look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoreological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. Why would Sarif have hidden these things inside me? I don't get it. I am not convinced this is a Sarif job. The tech itself is super high-end. But the PDOT insulation, sloppy. The bone mounting mounted on the quick. Just doesn't have Sarif's touch. Looks more like a retrofit to me. Something much more recent. Well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking how much I hate being unconscious. You said these additions look recent. How recent? Within the last two years, give or take. Something happened to you in that time? I was pulled out of the ocean and put in some facility in Alaska to recover. There's a few months there that the more I try to remember, the blurrier it gets. Shit, Jensen. That's terrifying. You ever seen anything like this before? An AUG system that's deliberately hidden like that? I don't know, Jensen. I mean, I heard of people getting the black market treatment before. Pass out in Prague, wake up in Shanghai. But usually, they wake up with less augs, not more. What exactly makes these augs so different from my other ones? They look like experiments, is what. Loose wiring everywhere, man. It's, it's like half of you is uh, untested, unfinished, unbelievable. It's... it's beautiful, is what it is. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just, uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise? I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted. By Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. 
If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard off Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kohler. Thanks for the praxis. Okay, so there we have it. <clears throat> a few augmentations. So we've got new augmentations available to us. We have 11 praxis points to spend. Wow, okay. Um, wow, what can we... Well, we can just buy kind of everything, can we? Um, wow, what do we want to do? Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to have to think about this and we'll see what upgrades I want to go with in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.